our first time as Hillsong London in uh, in Nairobi in Kenya and uh, just kind of wait uh, for Saturday night so um, we definitely encourage uh, anyone who wants to be part of that to come along but um, I think we're, we're so excited about bringing the opportunity to bring people together um, from from all over the city and from wherever else people are coming from and uh, really the purpose of the night is um, I mean ultimately it's about worshiping Jesus like we we are all Christians um, and we are actually we're all part of church uh, we all serve and volunteer in our church Hillsong Church uh, on Sundays and what we're doing essentially is taking what happens every Sunday uh, at home in Hillsong London actually taking it out outside of the four walls of the context of London and actually bringing it into other cities other nations and um, we just have the absolute privilege uh, this week of being uh, being in Nairobi uh, and just cannot wait for actually what's going to take place and I hope I really hope people come expectant um, you're going to hear songs that you that you know and love um, that you'll be familiar with but actually more than that more than about the songs and way more than it is certainly not about us but it's about coming together and worshiping Jesus that is our that's really our sole purpose that's our um, what we're here to do and we just we just want everyone uh, as many people as possible to actually come and be part of that with us yeah 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 so yeah it is uh it's my first time in kenya i don't know if you guys yeah. no first time yeah, yeah first um time. and uh it's been amazing so yeah. far we uh we were a little tired when we got here we did an overnight flight um but we got some rest and then actually last night yesterday afternoon we we went into the national park um so we went to we got to do that which was really fun see some of the animals i saw two cheetahs that was a personal <laughs> absolute highlight for me i've been i've done a few kind of safaris but never seen cheetahs uh, so that i loved absolutely loved that but um the team is loving being here meeting you people and just like you guys are absolutely amazing like such friendly well welcoming warm people and i um, just look forward to more of that over the next few days Um, I think the people that will, there'll be many people that will come and we hope so, <laughs> but for people who are maybe on the fence, a bit, uh, not quite sure, you know, if, I, I think hopefully the people come and they leave, they leave with a sense of hope. Um, that's actually, that would be something that we would love. And because the songs, the songs that we sing, they're worship songs, they're to God, they're about God. And when we sing them together, it, hopefully it, it, it instills a sense of hope yeah. um, that there actually is hope for the future. There is hope in this world. Um, even though we may look around uh, around the world of some of the crazy stuff that is happening, but there actually is still hope. And that hope really only comes from Jesus. So everything that we do is about pointing people towards Jesus, who is hope, who is the source of hope, who is the source of life. And I'd say if you're at home and you're not sure and you, you actually you, you, you just need some hope in your life, I would say, come along, come along, be open, be expectant um, to to be to be. Challenged. I mean, we've not we've not been here before um, as, as Hillsong London, so this is our first time uh, coming here. So uh, we, you know, we do we do we do worship nights in different cities, and um, many of the songs that we sing in the different cities will be the the familiar ones that people love. But there's always something unique uh, that happens in the night. Um, and there's always something special that takes place in every single night. And so we're just believing that it's not, um, you know, you can, you can, if people want to watch YouTube channels and uh, reference that, they're like, they're more than welcome to. But I'd say there's nothing like being um, in an environment together with other people um, and actually all worshipping together. There's, it's one thing to watch something, but it's another thing to actually be part of it and participate um, there in person. Um, that's a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, we're not, um, we're a church, uh, like 
everything comes back to the fact that we're a church and we're not um, we're not a, an artist as such. The songs the songs that have come out of Hillsong have gone far and wide, and people resonate. They recognize the songs, um, and so everything for us comes back to about um, helping people worship, and and so we we will never will never kind of um, deviate from that because that's that's kind of yeah I, I to be honest I don't think it would be fair of me to comment on other other artists decisions because I think um, that's that's kind of not for me to speak into all I can speak into is really kind of what um, what I believe our mission is uh, when it comes to when it comes to worship and when it comes to serving people and you know God God places people in different lanes and he'll open different doors and I think it's up to people to uh, use wisdom and discernment to to figure out which doors are the right doors to work, walk through. Um, but I, you know, God God still moves. Um, God can still move in every in every marketplace in every forum. Mm. It's not just limited to um, uh, one one sphere of music. God can still speak in every sphere of music that there is. Um, if and in helping people point people back to Jesus. I mean, there's. I mean, watch out for what happens. Well, like I said, watch out for what happens. Uh, there could be could be things happening uh, at some point. So yeah. No, no. Only, 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 only on, on YouTube and all other channels. Uh, the first thing that struck my mind was that um, Nairobi, the Kenyans are very lucky to have a Hillsong coming to Kenya. Um, I, I think most countries would want that to happen. Um, um, I, I think. I think. Personally, myself, it still remains a shock. I'm so shocked I'm sitting with them. Um, I'm a God-fearing man. When I see his songs always singing, there's this kind of a, a dimension of God that they always bring. We, we hear different kind of music, gospel artists all the time, but there's this way that they, they, they used to minister. Um, I think I think it said it earlier on that for them it's all about church. I think those boundaries have actually been very important to their music. Um, they inspire a lot of people. Um, I, I still maintain it that Kenya is very lucky. Nairobians are very lucky to have his song here. Um, and I'm honored myself. I'm a poet. Um, I, 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 I believe in, in, in the divinity of God the Almighty, but I'm also inspired by nature. Um, so at some point in time as a musician, there comes a point where it's not about you, it's all about your country. Um, so Lele Maswati comes from there. It just talks about us as a kingdom. Um, um, remember kingdom. It's, it's. We, we always think, most of the time, us as Swatini, that if you read the Bible, when Jesus sent, when God sent, uh, Jesus' first assignment, he said, I'm here for the kingdom of heaven. So as Swatini is a country where we call ourselves the jewel of God. We believe in God. We believe that there is no other uh, God on earth. There is only one God we thank God the Almighty for who we are, where we come from, and we also hope and we know that the next coming years will be easy for us so long as we don't move away from God the Almighty. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there's seasons in everything, right? There's seasons in life, and I've, we've seen the world, even in the last few years, change so much uh, with their various events and uh, things happening, and I think there's something incredible that it's there's something so constant uh in god um and when everything around around us changes like god is the one constant thing um and his word is constant his word is true and it's faithful and i think the message within the songs uh should you know hopefully it reflects that um that when things do shake when do things change whether it's in uh, home life and family and work um or globally when things change and they will continue to change over the years and over time, that there is one thing that we can actually uh, set our hope upon, um, and that's Jesus, uh, and that's everything that He's done for us. And it's so great having when everything's you know because we can get shaken 
uh, by things, by events uh, around the world that happen and fear can be instilled. But actually the fact that we have 